Tuya kite rangi, tuya kite fenua, tuya kite moana, tuya kite heringatangata, tihei Māori ora. I had to get over myself a lot and be proud to be Māori and to have the tonga that I do have. Te reo and kapahaka, because not all of us have those tonga, um, so it's important that if you do have them, to do something awesome with them. Tēnā koutou katoa, ko Taylor Rose Shere ki a hau, no te kairawhiti, no te waipau no me hoki. We're here in Tūranganui, Akiwa, and I'm young, gifted and brown. It's a bit cringy to, to think about it, but I used to tell all the tainer around school that I was going to be the next Taika Waititi. But the, the crazy thing is that now I work for a company called Takidora Productions and I'm finding all these archive photos of actually um, shows that Taika Waititi was in before he was huge. Somehow, you know, the tipping have led me this way and I can't fight with that. There's sometimes a lack of knowledge in terms of mātauranga Māori, so a lot of people don't know how to best support Māori artists. Still being a young Māori, coming into those spaces and you're sort of, like, like everything, you're kind of the, the Māori in the room who sometimes has to, to step in and say, actually, um, that's not how Māori work or that's, that's not appropriate. Like in any place, you're, you're still trying to unteach racism and unteach cultural appropriation and what's tika and what's wrong. Um, and so that's been a challenge, but at the same time, when you, when you go through those experiences, it just makes you more resilient and empowers you to keep going. Okay, kone mātou ki Mani Tuke. We're here at Mani Tuke School. We've got our Te Reo Māori season show on, which is an all Te Reo Māori whakari, um, and we're just sharing a story from Kaitahu. I didn't study to be an artist, but since working at Takirua, those doors have opened for me and I've just sort of taken them and then just ran with them, not really knowing where it's going to lead. Um, but yeah, I was really interested in being a filmmaker, but I think at the heart of that, I wanted to be a storyteller. My first year was a bit crazy, tried a bit of music, tried a bit of um, business studies, and film and media. Didn't have those subjects when I was at school. Then after first year, I realized how much I started to miss being around Māori teachers and around Māori um, peers. I think in a way, going back into a Māori taught environment actually helped me thrive in my other subjects too. So it was really important for me not to just do Māori studies. So I wanted to reach out to to what us Indigenous people get up to. How do our Aboriginal whānau and how do our Pacifica whānau, how are they um, needing more support or how, how are they similar or different from Māori? Um, because as Indigenous peoples, we're going through similar things and I think um, it's up to us to, to lead the way on how to help us to thrive. What's really awesome about Otago is we have our Te Huka Mā Tauraka, our Māori centre, who are like a rock for Māori students. They're that emotional and that whānau support goes a long way when you kind of are in crunch time and in study mode. And it reminds you that um, the reason why you're at uni is much bigger than that one essay or that one exam. It's about building friendships and about, you know, finding your whānau. Um, and a lot of my friends that I made through Te Ropu Māori, I'm still super close with today in Wellington. So it's like, um, it lasts way longer than your time at uni. At the moment, I am the Marketing and Communications Coordinator, aka the Kaifaka Tairanga for Takirua Productions. We're based in Poneke. Takirua is the foremost Māori theatre company. We're nearly 40 years old, um, and so we do amazing mahi to uplift our writers and our our theatre practitioners and writers and actors. It's got a big legacy and so I'm really excited to be in a space where I can uphold what our tipu and I have done before me. K-pop interview. <laughs> Big K-pop fan, and one day I was just 
thinking to myself, what would K-pop sound like in Te Reo Māori? I know with Kapahaka, a lot of our songs, we take a lot of inspiration from pop music and we translate it into Māori and perform it at Matatuni or on the Kapahaka stage. So I translated K-pop into Te Reo Māori for the first time on a TikTok. And that TikTok just overnight took me by surprise and all these people, Māori, Korean, from, from different backgrounds, were all jumping on it and saying, you know, this sounds amazing. Our, our language is a Tonga, and we're living in a time where everyone's super keen to learn and embrace Te Reo. Um, so I think it's up to us with Te Reo to, to really champion it in every space that we can.